Hey y'all, welcome back to the show. So we all know that Texas has a deep, rich history and there's very few places that shows off their heritage quite like Fredericksburg does. It's a little German town whose primary language was German all the way up until 1945. Now it's a popular destination for wine tasting, shopping, and much, much more. So come with us for a day in Fredericksburg, Texas. Nestled in the heart of the Texas Hill Country is Fredericksburg, Texas, a historic site named one of the most romantic small towns in America. With over 50 wineries, numerous restaurants, shops, and enchanting views, this small town is definitely worth the drive. So whenever you're exploring a new town, the first place that you should hit up is always the visitor center. Here you can find places to stay, to eat, to shop, and of all the events going on around town. So I've already got my list of things to do. Why don't you come with me? Let's check it out. For our first stop of the trip, the beautiful Hoffman House, a luxury bed and breakfast located in the heart of Fredericksburg. I'd be happy to show you around uh, the Hoffman House here. Uh, this is our Great Hall area. Wow. It's a lovely old tobacco barn from Kentucky uh, that was reconstructed in the early 90s. And a beautiful place just to lounge around and everything's bigger here in Texas. This beautiful <laughs> chandelier yes. and mirrors. Wow. So this is our cottage and it's also one of our suites here at the Hoffman House because it does have a living room separate from the bedroom. So again, very spacious and a perfect little table for your breakfast. And right over here is the Bassey House. This is the gym of the property. So this is uh, our one with the two king suites. Wow, this has a lot of character. It does. This is actually the original homestead built in 1871. <gasps> this bedroom. This is definitely one of our popular bridal suites because everybody feels like a princess you yes. know, in here. Besides the variety of rooms, the Hoffman House is known for its hospitable breakfast with the option of having a seasonal meal delivered right to your door. And the city's communications director, Amanda Kuhn, joined us for the morning. Fredericksburg is a really special place because it's centrally located. We're only about an hour from either Austin or San Antonio. Yes. And there's so much to do. There's something, you know, for everybody. Yeah. Um, you've got museums that are located downtown, the National Museum of the Pacific War. You've got the Pioneer Museum with the awesome German heritage. Yes. And then, of course, the great German food. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> My biggest tip as a local is to come during the week. Okay. It's a little slower. All the restaurants are still open. All of the wineries are still open. It's a small town. That's a good and you tip. can really, yeah, have a great experience. Now that we toured our sleeping quarters for the night, it was time to hit the town. And with over 150 shops throughout historic Fredericksburg, it's no wonder why it was voted top 10 best small town for shopping. Black Chalk Home and Laundry is a unique home and gift boutique steeped in Fredericksburg history. The original building was built all the way back in the 1920s and now lives on as a home goods store filled with tons of character. Okay, so this previously abandoned laundromat turned boutique is filled with a fun, fun environment. From top to bottom, you can find eccentric finds. Where do we even begin? Probably the front door. <laughs> The shop caters to families looking for a cool and funky twist to home decor with the found and unbound motto. Come to a furniture store, you gotta test it out, right? Oh my gosh, yes. So what I love about Black Chalk is not only are there items from around Texas, but from around the world too, like Kenya, Morocco, Turkey. A lot of research goes into bringing these unique pieces right here to the Texas Hill Country. All right, so I'd say shopping and grubbing go hand in hand. So that's why we decided to grab a bite to eat at Warner Warehouse that just so happens to be located right across the street. This is Warner Warehouse, 
Located in the Warehouse District, it's the newest expansion from Main Street. What once was a feed store is now a popular destination for breakfast and lunch, and all the ingredients are locally sourced from farmers of the Texas Hill Country region. So you know we always got you covered when it comes to the menu. So whenever you come to Warner's Warehouse, you gotta try the Andrew's Pizza. And if you need more recommendations, I suggest getting the lemonade as well. So, I'm hungry, I'm ready to dig in. Cheers. Enjoy a fresh salad, thin crust pizza, colorful sandwiches, or order from their espresso bar. Did we mention they make desserts too? All right, so whether it is a slice of pie, a slice of pizza, it's all just a slice of heaven right here at Warner's Warehouse. It's only a block away from Main Street in the Warehouse District. You'll leave satisfied. More from historic Fredericksburg when Yellow Texas returns right after this break. Hey y'all and welcome back to Yellow Texas where we are picking up right where we left off in the Texas Hill Country region. A trip to Fredericksburg is not complete without coming to one of the most iconic places of the town. It kind of just represents Fredericksburg as a whole. It has sweet foods, elegant wines, and scenic views. Come with me. What started out as the Lone Star Beer distribution facility was shut down during the Prohibition years. Later on, the Weezer family purchased the building, then moved it to the family's land. That's where they sold peaches, and the rest is history. Since 1969, Mark Weezer started Das Peach House um, with just a peach orchard selling jams and jellies. This is actually his mom's recipe, one oh, of our oldest products. That's sweet. Um, and then Case Fisher joined as a high school student picking peaches. And then that's where we get Fisher and Weezer after college. He joined and they incorporated. And that's where we are today. And this is our storefront. But we're also most probably well known for the roasted raspberry chipotle sauce. Okay. This is just over cream cheese, but it's so versatile. You can do pork, you can put it in cake, you can make margaritas. Like you can do it all with this sauce. Yes, yes, one of my favorites. <laughs> <in> my language. <laughs> but along with jellies and jams, we also have accoutrements. We're big with charcuterie boards. You know, that's all the rave right now. Yep, just, okay. this is some mustard seeds. Mm. So this on a meat and cheese board with some of our other mustards and jellies. It's just something different, but it is so fun. That is yes. fun. And then of course salsa. Okay. Um, this is our salsa a la char, one of our most favorites. Again, it's more smoky, not so spicy. That's why uh, oh, okay. it's one of the more popular. Yeah, that, that's kid-friendly because, you, like you said, it's not too spicy. Mm -hmm. It has all the flavors that you want in a, in a salsa. So the ingredients are well yes, done, we put do, together. Yes, we do try to do local as much as possible, clean ingredients. Mm -hmm. But then after um, we taste all of this, I'm going to go wash it down with some wine. Check out the wine bar. Absolutely. Let's do it. Thank you. Let's do it. All right. <laughs> All of our wines are Texas wines, and all of the ones that are made with grapes are grapes from Texas. Here at Fisher & Weezer, or at the Das Peach House, we have five of our own. Okay. And the one that I'm going to be sharing with you today is our dry Riesling. Okay. So a dry Riesling is typically a German wine. Uh, this experience with this wine is going to be light and refreshing in the beginning. Uh, in the center on your palate, you can have zesty uh, experiences of lime and pear. Okay. And then on the back end, which I love about this, uh, is that you can have a very wonderful mineral taste. That goes down way too smooth. <laughs> That's kind of dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> Das Peach House is also home to the Culinary Adventure Cooking School, where cooking demonstrations are held in a group or private setting and appropriately paired with a glass of wine. So what are we gonna be cooking today? We're doing creme brulee. Creme okay, brulee. so step one, we're gonna do two cups of heavy cream, and then we're gonna add the vanilla. Simmer, we don't want it to boil okay. over. Uh, while we wait for that to happen, we're gonna uh, come over and we're gonna mix our egg yolks. All right. And just use your whisk and make them smooth and creamy. Okay, so we have it nice and smooth. Everything's incorporated. We're gonna ladle it into the bowls. We put them in the oven for uh, an hour at uh, 300 degrees. Okay, so now it's cooled off. Now we can start brulee it. There you go, cheers. Cheers. All right. Y'all, I love the hill country. I love Fredericksburg. And with experiences like this, it just makes me love Texas even more. So if you're looking for a new midweek destination to explore, you know exactly where to visit. Cheers, y'all.